สวัสดีครับผมจิ๊บอธิการหนุนพักดีนะครับขอต้อนรับท่านผู้มีเกียรติที่กําลังรับชมผ่านทางช่อง8หรือกําลังรับชมการถ่ายทอดสดนะครับผ่านทางช่องทาง YouTube ไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลเข้าสู่ Beat Active บุรีและนี่คือสายไฟลีกสังเวียนเลือดของตัวเจงขอเสียงดังๆหน่อยครับ Yes ต้องอย่างนั้นท่านผู้มีเกียรติครับทางสมาคมกีฬามวยไทยไฟนานาชาตินะครับหรือไทยไฟ International Boxing Association เป็นผู้รับรองและจัดการแข่งขันมวยไทยคาดเชือกไทยไฟหลีกขึ้นมาครับโดยมีเจตนารมณ์เพื่อสืบสารมวยคาดเชือกกีฬาพื้นบ้านของไทยอันมีมาตั้งแต่ครั้งสมัยกรุงศรีอยุธยาครับและได้รับการเผยแพร่สู่สายตาชาวโลกอย่างมีมาตรฐานสากลเอาละครับเรามาเปิดความมันในค่ำคืนนี้นะครับด้วยคู่มวยชายซูเปอร์ไฟพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก67กิโลกรัมเป็นการประทะกันด้วยมวยคาดเชือกระหว่างมวยอิหร่านกับมวยมอร์โกและนักมวยไวท์คอร์เนอร์ he from g a s w i n i r a n please welcome สิงหนุ่มแห่งกาสวินอาเมียเรซาเชกีนี Yeah. และสำหรับนักมวย from black corner ที่จะขึ้นมาท้าชนด้วยนั้น he from Rabat Morocco please welcome หมาป่าแห่ง Rabat Abdo El Omri yeah. It's Sunday. That can only mean one thing. It's Thai Fight League time. Welcome back to the most exciting weekly Muay Thai show in the world. There's no other show that's more exciting than this one, Aaron. I'm excited for tonight as well. Yeah, tonight we have the 67 kilogram Thai Fight League tournament happening, as well as the return of the Isuzu Cup. 32 years of history. And now, Thai Fight is showing it. Every Sunday, there you can see our Thai commentators as we bring you seven matchups here tonight. Our first bout, our only international bout of the evening, and the rest of the card is all ties. There you can see in the white corner, introducing our first fighter, Amir Reza Chegini, 20 years of age from Iran. Stands at 180 centimeters and has a professional record of 18 fights with 12 victories, just five losses and one draw. And there you can see his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Abdo El Omri, 26 years of age, 175 centimeters tall from Morocco. He has a total of 19 fights, 11 victories, and 8 losses. So all we take it after that is that it's very early in these two fighting careers. But we see some fighters here in Thai Fight League. Actually, most of the fighters here are relatively unknown, has fought in the provinces, or it's early in their Muay Thai careers. And as you can see here, they don't have extensive records just yet. No, but that's what this, this show is all about. Thai Fight League is about finding the next big upcoming star and giving them that opportunity to showcase their skills. And there you see referee Mr. Somsak Shanasungnan who would like to thank Mr. Gonkit Yampinit for sponsoring his fight here and sponsoring the event. There you can see 
the graphic of the tail of the tape. First fight of a scheduled seven here on Thai Fight League. You remember that Abdo was meant to be competing quite a few weeks ago against um, a French fighter, Conor Abdo, but then he had to drop out due to an arm injury, and now he finally gets to show his talent here on the Thai Fight stage. Looking forward to see what he's got to offer. He's training at Sang Morikot Gym, whilst his opponent, Amir Reza, it's that he trains at Satyan Muay Thai Gym under crew Satyan, who was, at one point, the trainer of Bokau. Wow. So he's under some very good guidance. All right, here we go. 67 kilograms. And the view to watching Thai Fight and Thai Fight League. Those are not gloves. Those are ropes. It's card trip. And believe me, they hurt. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt. Good left high kick there from Amir Reza. Pushing back Abdo. Yeah, Abdo. And again with that whipping left kick. Abdo just hasn't found his roof just yet. Just going for the low kicks, but Ooh. finally starts using his hands. And you can see how dangerous they can be, especially with those Kachuks tied up. Gaining some respect back with that right hand is Abdo. And again, you can see he's looking for that right hand. Yeah, he's and again. For that right hand once again, but Amir Reza Ooh. being especially careful. And he's going to have to be. It's primed, it's clocked, it's ready. Because as we've seen in the past, you know, one hit from those Kachuks, I mean, that could be it. Exactly. Abdo Do doing quite a good job keeping his hands up. Oh, I like that. that. I always like to see fighters go down to the body. Yeah, because as you know, when one shot is just not enough sometimes. I mean, you've got to put a combination together, attack the body, go low, and then go high. Oh, spinning back elbow. I'm not sure if that connected full. It can't have done. <laughs> but yeah, last week, back to your point, how many knockouts did we see from fighters going to the body? They were head on in, then they changed levels. Good elbow strikes here coming in from Emery Reza, pushing Abdo back. Yeah, quite a lot of Oh, and again back. back to the body. And right I hand from Abdo. Oh! Swinging elbow almost takes him out. I believe Amir Reza, I mean, he can finish the fight just by attacking the body. You can see he's already causing Abdo quite a lot of problems. Amir Reza, ultra aggressive in this opening round. He's pretty much set the tone for the fight. Going back to the body, and that hurt Abdo. Yeah, it did. Deep breath there, Kevin. Yeah, you can see from the body expression, the facial expressions. I mean, he can't take much more of those. He's got to find some way to deal with the body shots. Otherwise, if you take too much of them, we know what will happen, Aaron. Yeah, it'll be all over. He's been eating rope throughout this entire... Oh, both fighters looking for elbow strikes. I think Abdo caught with the right hand, though. Yeah, but I believe it was Amir Reza's elbow that connected better. You can already see it put Abdo on the back foot. Good job for the Iranian. Amir Reza, very, very aggressive in this opening round. Right hand from Abdo trying to sneak through that guard. And at just 20 years of age, but you got to say, he's impressive. He is. Yeah, back with that right hand. Abdo, he's actually coming up quite well, which is not easy to do with Karchuk. He's cut, though. Yeah, but you can see blood starting to drip down the face. All of a sudden, you can see Abdo, he does not want any more of those elbows. I mean, he's trying oh, to avoid Oh, another right them. hand. Abdo with a counter right. Oh, good left, though. Knock him back. I mean, Razor, but he doesn't jump over him. Abdo's doing maybe the wrong thing of just attacking with one shot at a time. Yeah, and he had a, he had the opportunity there to push forward, but I think because of that busted nose, he's struggling to breathe. Wow, what a round. Stay with us, round two coming up here at Thai Fight. Exceptional opening round that was for this week's Thai Fight League. Amir Reza in the white corner taking it to Abdo. Almost connected there with a the spinning back elbow. There's no doubt about it, but what we saw so far is that Amir Reza won that round. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it seems like he's figured out Abdo early on. He 
He's even cut him as well on just the bridge of the nose. It wasn't even about figuring him out. He just went in there like a bulldozer and just decided to attack, attack, attack. Right, here we go. Second round upon us. Come on, ref, get those seconds out. We want to get going here. Exactly. Come on. That's what TIE Fight League is all about. The high pace, fast, powerful action. But I see some more of that here in the second round. And don't forget, if you're watching on TIE Fight International, please subscribe, like, share, comment. We're here every week, same time, same place. Uh, so going back to the punches, but you can see the punches, I mean, they're getting more powerful than they were in the first round. Amir Reza moving back more than he did in the first round already. Good right hand there, connecting four. Abdo, but the body shot once again. Give oh, it. stunning left hand there from Abdo, and he's trying to jump on Amir Reza. Amir Reza may be in a lot of trouble. I mean, he felt the power of Abdo, and fair to say, he did not re react to it well at all, Aaron. No, he didn't. He stumbled backwards, but it seems like he's in pretty good condition, though. I mean, what that's, what that's going to do is it's going to boost Abdo because he knows now that he can hurt Amir Reza. He did momentarily. A nice low kick there, and again with that left hand. You do see this a lot where fighters, they win that opening round and then for some whatever reason they decide to sit back in the second. Oh, we've got an issue? Is it, ah, okay, mouth guard out. Yeah, I mean, it's not a good idea when you spit out the mouth guard because you lose quite a lot of points of that, especially in terms of the judges. I really do think that obviously with the nose being busted up like it is, that it must have, his, uh, have a bad effect on his breathing right now. Oh, most definitely. You allowed to do that? And it's a sign <laughs> of a tired fighter. Yeah, you can see the, the sliced nose. Oh, push kick there. That'll push the mouth guard back in. Oh, yes. <laughs> hopefully, not, hopefully not too far in, Aaron. Here comes Abdo, though, with that right hand. Amir Reza attacking back with the elbows. At the moment, Abdo is like a wounded animal. He knows yeah. he has no choice but to move forward. That's better from Amir Reza going back to the body. Good right elbow there from Amir Reza, that connected flush. But Abdo refuses to go down. He wants to take the fight to Amir Reza. Amir Reza though, showing that he's just a bit too strong for him at the moment. Big kick oh. there from Amir Reza. I'm also impressed with the gas tank with Amir Reza. Fast in the uh, first round, he doesn't seem to have slowed down in the second when he does push forward, that is. That is right. I mean, at the beginning of the round, he was moving back quite a lot, but maybe he was just waiting for Abdo to get exhausted. And we can see that. May be the case right now. Yeah, I'm worried when they come over here. Gonna be good flying. Right elbow there from Amir Reza. I think the pathway to victory now would be going back to those leg kicks. Yeah, yes. And then go back to the body as well. You can see that Abdo is exhausted and he's having trouble breathing. I don't think it's necessary to head on. Oh my goodness, you're saying that. Yeah, you can't take much more. He's not even <laughs> fighting back at the moment, but the referee might have to consider some of this match eventually because when a fighter is not protecting himself, not fighting back. What else can you do but stop the match? Another big body shot there from oh, Amir Reza. Another right hand. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, Abdo! Why would you do that? Why would you give your opponent a free elbow? I don't understand it, Aaron. He is a monster. Well, the only person who understands it is Abdo Reza. <laughs> Another amazing second round here at TIE Fight League. Don't go anywhere. that left hand by Abdo, pretty much the only significant strike in the second round for that man. But oh, honestly, with that left hook, he really did knock back Amir Reza. He tried to jump over him, but unfortunately Amir Reza for Abdo was able to uh, regain his composure and then uh, it was all out attack from there on out from Amir Reza, to be honest. Honestly, I want to see that free elbow that Abdo gave to Amir Reza. I'm not sure what was going through his head. Well, he got caught, didn't he, with the right hand and then he was like, man. 
you're not affecting it, bro, even though you are smashing the face <laughs> with the beat, to be fair. Maybe someone should tell him that it's not the best way to yeah. block that was with your face. I think it was around here, wasn't it? Yeah, it oh, no. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's an illegal blow. That's headbutting an elbow, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say he took like, like a champ, but it really wasn't. I mean, Reza, two rounds now. Yeah, no question about it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see if Abdo can uh, knock out Amir Reza, because that's what he's going to have to do to win the fight. Good invasion there by Amir Reza. It looks like he's a bit broken right now, Abdo. Yeah, he's just not fighting back now. Well, trying to at least, but it's not hitting the target. Yeah, it's slow as well. Could be playing possum. And he's just telegraphing the, the message, you know? Yeah. He's telegraphing all his a, a, attacks, making it way too easy for Amir Reza. Yeah, that's what you want to do. If you're in Amir Reza's corner, you want to tell him push kicks, pushes to the body. But you got to give it to Abdo. I'm surprised that he's still fighting at this point of the fight. We've seen him take so much punishment already. Taking a fury of punches, taking some big elbows, <laughs> especially that free elbow. But he's still standing up, he's still fighting, he's still trying to exchange against his opponent. Oh yeah, massive props to Abdo. Tough, no doubt about it. Lost track of how many elbows he's eaten, quite honestly. Outside kick there. And a nice body strike once again, yeah, and you can see it. What little energy is left inside Abdo's body is now being pushed out. Yeah, good job there from Amir Reza. I mean, once he knew that Abdo was blocking the body, he went high. I guess that's one of the things about uh, Kai Chuk. Trying those uppercuts. If you're connected to the elbow, you can risk of breaking your fingers. Oh, yes. You know, via, via the blocks. Inside kick there by Abdo. Yeah, back to the body. <laughs> Smile there from Amir Reza, outside kick. See the referee having a close look at Abdo and yeah. I'm not sure how long he can let this fight continue at the moment. Does it like a little bit of a broken man now? Oh there you go, he's wincing in pain, those body strikes doing the damage. Go back to the body. There's no reason to go back upstairs when downstairs is uncovered. It's, a, it's there, it's a pathway to victory now for Amir Reza. Got to give it to Abdo. He's taking all these shots. You know, there is a part of me that doesn't want the referee to stop the fight so that Abdo can make it to the end. But there's also a part of me that thinks he yeah. doesn't need to take any more punishment as well. Exactly, know? exactly. I was thinking the exact same thing. All right, there we go. End of the third and final round. Pass, the end. A great victory. A clear pathway to victory from Amir Reza Chagini. Making his debut. Oh, both fighters making their debut here at Thai Fight, but really impressed with the 20-year-old from Iran. A look at the highlights from the fight. This was the uh, third and final round, I believe. Yeah. Pretty comfortable in the end in that third round, especially for the Iranian. A lot of body strikes. It's quite interesting because we saw a few low kicks coming in from Abdo in the first and second round. In the third, we saw zero, and I don't think any of his shots actually connected. Yeah, he was surviving, wasn't he, in that third round? That's right. He didn't have anything in the offensively to offer anymore. But you got to give it to Amir Reza. I mean, he was impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd like to see him come back. Of course, we do have a lot of 67 kilogram fighters here on Thai Fight League, so. And the winner is... White Corner! Amir Reza from Iran! ครับเรากลับมาดูความสวยงามของคู่ต่อไปที่ผมใช้คําว่าความสวยงามครับมันเป็นความสวยงามที่แฝงมาพร้อมกับความโหดความมันด้วยคู่มวยหญิงซูเ
พียักษ์สาวแห่งบ้านกรวดแก้วกานดาสอทอสุโคนและสำหรับนักมวย from black corner ชื่อของเธอสุดจหวาัน she from อำเภอเวียงชัยจังหวัดเชียงราย please welcome สมิงสาวแห่งเวียงชัยน้ำหวานสอคงกระพันเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ Of Thai Fight League, the best or the most exciting Muay Thai show of the week. I'm Kevin Amlet, and this is Aaron Siri Somban. Yeah, welcome, world. Again, if you're joining us on YouTube International, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you can. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think of the fights. And Kevin, ask the same question every week: Who is next for Deng Nuk? I mean, we've been trying to find, you know, countrywide, who <laughs> should he face next? And I'm telling you, it's impossible. All right, introducing in the white corner, Gyo Kanda Soto Sukon. She is 16 years of age from Buriram Province in Thailand. She stands at 158 centimeters and has a professional record of 42 fights. Uh, sorry, 42 fights. Yep, 32 victories, eight losses, and two draws. There you see her opponent fighting out of the black corner. She goes by the name of Namwan So Kong Kapan. Her real name is Montisha Kaupila. She is 20 years of age, 258 centimeters tall, from Chiang Rai province in the northern part of Thailand. She has a total of 53 fights, 39 victories, 13 losses, and one draw. So it's Buriram versus Chiang Rai, northern Thailand versus the Isan region. They can see the tail of the tape for this one. Age and of course experience going to Namwan, the ripe old age of 20. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Yelganda, no slouch. 32 wins to her name, at just 16 years old. There you can see Namwan forming the Y crew. Traditional dance that's completely unique to Muay Thai. In honor of the fighters, masters, trainers, and of course the camp or gym they fight out of and represent. And sometimes fighters as well, they like to warm up. They utilize the white crew to warm up and just get used to the ring. And get used to the surroundings. It's not easy being in there, being watched by millions at home. Of course, Thai Fight League is now the second most watched show, uh, Muay Thai show in Thailand, which is just unbelievable. Incredible, to be honest. Every the way that this episode eight. It's just rocketed exactly right, right close to the top. The eight, eight episodes over there already. It's incredible. I mean, and it just shows just how exciting Thai Fight League is. Custom-made stadium, of course, as well, just for this show. Here we go. Second bout, the female bouts. The white corner. Gel Ganda So Ta Sukon from Thailand. She will be taking on Amwan So Kom Kapan. Final prayers, instructions, and of course the removal of the sacred headgear, the Mong Kon. And then we get this fight on the road. She's quite amazed because um, Gao Kanda, she's 16 years of age and she has 42 fights. So not that far off her opponent. 
Rahman at 20 years of age with 53 fights. But quite often, Aaron, we see here in Thai Fight League, especially with the females, that the younger fighter tends to always have, always win. That's yes, true. Oh, let's see if Nam Wan can break that curse. Oh, beautiful right kick there from Gail Ganda. Perhaps not, Kevin. Gail Ganda coming in with so much power. Just a good evasion there by Gail Ganda. Gail Ganda still moving forward. Another good kick there by Gail Ganda. Gail Ganda getting, go, getting pushed back by Nam Wan. Yeah, good left kick to the body there by Nam Wan. And then a right kick. Left hands coming in. Oh, that's a right there. She held the leg. I mean, we don't often see many talented fighters coming in from Shen Rai province, but this could be Nam Wan's moment to change that. Good knee straight down the middle there by Nam Wan. Yeah, of course, the whole purpose of Thai Fight League, you were having a conversation with the big boss, weren't you, before? It's all, it's all about finding these these fighters from the regions around Thailand who you might not know their names, but they want to appear on Thai Fight League, want the opportunity, and Thai Fight League is all about giving them that opportunity. Yeah, they never had those the chances to fight in the big stadiums in Thailand, and that's why Thai Fight League was created, so we can find the new star for the big Thai Fight Show's good knees down the middle by Nam Wan. So far, it's been so exciting, so successful. Concept's working, Kevin. Yeah, it is. It really is. Oh, good right hand. Good solid knee as well, though. In reply by Yuganda. I'm really liking the knees that go down the middle from Nam Wan. Picture perfect. The knee guard, though, by Yuganda. Yuganda's nose is blooded. I might have, might find difficulty breathing as we saw the previous yeah, match. Absolutely. Left kick to the body by Nam Wan. Oh, and then Gail Ganda, she almost walks into that right hand. She's got to be careful of that. But Gail Ganda, despite her opponent being older and more experienced, she's not afraid. Two minute rounds for the females. We'll be back with round two. highlights of the second round. Sorry, of the first round. Getting ahead of myself there. That's right. I mean, you got to say that Nam Wan had a more stronger round. I mean, she managed to hurt her opponent more than her opponent hurt her. And her strikes are just that much more accurate. I mean, we saw some life. I think that was the right hand there. There it is again in the slow motion. Well done right. in the truck for finding that of uh, where her nose might have been blooded. But towards the end of the round, you saw Gao Ganda come in with some real for some flurry of shots. But Gotta say, unofficially on my scorecard, the first round goes to Nam Wan. Gail Ganda, she was trying to engage in the clinch. She was moving forward. But that's leaving her open to that right hand. She's got to be careful of that. She walks right into that right hand again. <laughs> Just and as again. you spoke. Oh, good right hand of her own. Oh, my goodness. That was the right hand of the fight right there. You've got to love these exchange of shots. Oh, she's down! But Gael Ganda sprung back to life once again. Huge knees straight down the middle. You've got to wonder how much more of these shots can Gael Ganda really take. Another big elbow there from Gael Ganda. Gael Ganda coming back in this fight. Her corner yelling at her and she needs to keep on moving forward and attacking. And she's done a good job with that. Honestly, two beautiful right hands. I'm not sure how Gael Ganda Hasn't gone down from them because they were flush. They were perfectly timed, perfectly executed. She's got to keep her hands up. Another big right hand there she's for Nam Wan. So open to it. Big learning curve for her this is for Gail Ganda. Yeah, I mean, she's keeping her hands far too low, leaving too many holes open. Oh, some good right hands coming in here from Gail Ganda. Machine gun like one, two is coming in. Wow. 
great back and forth action, and that's why we love Thai Fight League. Unbelievable, isn't it? Right kicks to the body, hurting Nam Wan. Nam Wan has slowed down drastically, and this is the last thing she would want to happen. Another right hand, though, in reply from Nam Wan on the counter, on the back foot. There's that right hand once again. The thing about Nam Wan is she's throwing that right hand, and then that's it, this one right hand, whereas Gao Ganda, she continues to strike when she connects. That's the difference right now. Another big right hand there for Nam Wan. Gal Gandado still oh. pushing forward and taking these heavy shots. I'll tell you what, Kevin, Nam Wan has slowed down significantly right now. They don't know that those hands, those strikes, they don't have that pop that they had. And the body shots that she takes, I mean, she reacts to them. The body language just shows that she is hurt there. Just Look at her trying to protect that body with everything she has. And that's the end of the second round. Wow, how do you score that one, folks? Tell us in the comments. Stay with us, third round coming. some of the action from the second round. I mean, when it first started, oh. back and forth action, Aaron. Honestly, the right hands of both these fighters I mean, you could have given, a lot of problems. That's right. I mean, you could have given a case for Gal to be knocked down, but she sprung right back up. And Twice! Did. Twice! She did some huge damage, though, on her opponent. I think it was here, yeah. But she needed her ass to not touch the floor. Therefore, she can still not be counted. Yeah, that was good refereeing that because some referees they might have jumped in. Sure, Instinct sure. takes over, but she realized that she hadn't touched the floor, therefore the fight continues. I believe that round belongs to Kyle Ganda. Take a look at the flurry of punches. That was goodness. a massive moment in the fight in that second round. Massive because that, I feel like that. What a fight. Are we saying this is one round each then? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm saying that un then. unofficially. Unofficially. What do you think, Aaron? I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Like, I I thought Nam Wan was winning. Well, she was winning that second round, clearly. But because Gal now was able to stay on her feet, I think you're right. She won that round. She was able to come back. And by the end of the round, she was winning. So. Yeah. And now you see Nam Wan oh, has only so one. Back Fourth right now. That's Amazing. right. Nam Wan only has one thing in her mind right now, and that's a knockout. But Gal Gadad not going to let that happen. Gal Gadad now pushing the action, moving forward, knee straight down to the body, and those are the knees that score the most. In the corner of Gal Gadad, they would have surely told her that Nam Wan looks exhausted. So if you can attack her body, that could be it. Oh, good knee there from Nam Wan. We saw some great knees from Nam Wan in the first round, and now we're starting to see it again. I mean, she needs to bring that back. Yeah, I think Nam Wan right now, unofficially, is up in this third round. She's done enough at the moment to be winning the round. Oh, it's such a hard fight to call. Oh, and no one. Good kick there, though. Looks like Yelkanda's left eye is just starting to swell. That could be problematic. Just shows how dangerous the clutch yeah, is. for sure. As you can see there, just below the left eye of Nam Wan. Both these girls have gone to war here tonight. No question about that. Nice right kick there, but a good right hand from Nam Wan. One thing's for sure, I mean, if you fight like this, week in, week out, you're very welcome. Oh, back. another right hand there from Nam Wan. And again with that right hand, but it's Gil Ganda who's pushing the back. Yeah, but she needs to do more of that. The knees are straight down the middle. Maybe top it up with an elbow. Bit of a stalemate right now. Neither want to be counted. Nam Wan being the aggressor, pushing down Gil Ganda. This is so close. I don't know how to score this, Aaron. Very difficult fight to score. It is so close. 
it's just one of, and I think they go as well, where one clean strike could sway it with the judges. And they don't want to give that opportunity away to each fight. Oh, here we go. Cause the emperor. Wow, what a fight. Either way, either of these fighters deserve the like risk. It's one of those fights. Well, what a great fight it was. We definitely want to see them come back. I mean, we, as I said earlier, now watch. Are we talking rematch yes, again? Yes, yes. <laughs> I we, do, I you know do want to see After that. After eight, eight weeks of Thai Fight League, we could have a whole list of fighters that we could have a rematch. Exactly. You know, I mean, that would be perfect. <laughs> There's many fights on here. But let's take a look at the action from the third round. You can see there, Nam Wan with an excellent left kick there and a right kick on top of that one. I mean, she came out swinging. And then later on, we saw some shots coming in from Gao Kanda as well. Gao Kanda, the younger fighter, refusing to give in to the more experienced fighter. Yeah, a lot more output from Namwan that we saw in the second round. Oh, it's close. Glad I'm not a judge in this situation. And if I was, I would have given this a draw. <laughs> Quite honestly, it was that close in the third round. Just back and forth. ท่านผู้ชมครับเราจะไปลุยกันต่อนะครับกับมวยชายซูเปอร์ไฟท์ในพิกัดน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัมครับคู่นี้เป็นศึกแห่งภาคอีสานใครจะอยู่ใครจะไปติดตามลุ้นกันครับและนักมวย from white corner he's from อำเภอหนองกี่จังหวัดบุรีรัมย์ please welcome ขุนพลแห่งเมืองไผ่ฟ้าลิขิตลูกบุญมีและสำหรับนักมวย from black corner he's from อำเภอเมืองจังหวัดนครราชสีมา and please welcome rambo เมืองย่าโมสามกองเล็กสิทธิ์แจ็คมวยไทยอ l right, here we go. Two amazing fights so far here on Thai Fight League, as always. But now it's time for a 65 kilogram super fight. Seven scheduled fights this evening, and two tournament fights as well. Our two tournaments being competed for: the return of the Azuzu Cup. The second round of that will be later here tonight on Thai Fight League. Introducing first in the white corner, Far Pishit Lukbunmi. He is just 16 years of age, fighting out of Buri Ram Province here in Thailand. He stands at 173 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 52 fights with 39 victories, just 12 losses, and one draw. And there you see his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Sam Gonglik, Sit Jack Moy Thai. His real name is Pumpak Goodwood. 22 years of age, 167 centimeters tall, from Nakhon Rajasima province. He's had a total of 80 fights, 50 victories, and 30 losses. You can see the tail of the tape. Height going with the younger gentleman Far Pishit. But of course, Sam Konglek, at 22 years of age, has 80 fights, almost 30 fights more than his opponent. You said earlier it's at 65 kilograms, and um, the Yusu to come tournament is also at 65 kilograms. And as we know from tournaments, there can be dropouts. Absolutely. So it could be a big That's opportunity. A for both these fighters. 
mean, if they impress, they could potentially fight in the legendary Isuzu Cup tournament, the 32nd edition of the oh. Isuzu Cup tournament. My goodness, Farpy Chip started quickly there. Right high kick, right hand coming in. Well, if Sam Conklek didn't know he was in a fight, he does now. Well, Far Pichin, I'm starting to think that he has a taxi waiting for him outside because he is <laughs> taking the fight to Sam Gong Lake early on. Someone should have told him we're right next to the Sky Train Station. Oh, right? yes. <laughs> don't need to rush. Left kick to the body there from Far Pichin. I mean, I don't think the Sky Train takes you all the way back to Buriram Province. Good point. <laughs> Speaking of that, it is a Dori match. I mean, Buriram just right next to Nakhon Rajasima oh. Province. They're neighbors. That's right. Of course, Buriram. And that is what the show is all about, Kevin. Exactly. Buriram is known to be one of the best producers of Muay Thai fighters. I mean, you can see Sam A. And the list goes on. And then again, you have Papi Jin, who comes from a very well known Muay Thai city. He comes from Nongki, or Muay Thai district, breaking some of the best of all time. You got Nam Pon and Nam Kabon. Right hand coming in there from Far Pichit. Obviously the taller of the two fighters trying to use that range to his advantage. Good right hands there coming in from Sam Gonglek. Yeah, Sam Gonglek was the knockout right here. Sam Kong. Oh, spinning back elbow there from Sam Gonglek. You can see there's a cut over the right eye of Far Pichit. Now the fight was going, I was quite surprised because it seemed like it was Fapi Chit taking the fight to Sam Gong Lek, but it is Fapi Chit who is cut. Another big elbow and a left kick there for Fapi Chit. It's almost like it's the speed of Fapi Chit versus the strong hands and strong kicks of Sam Gong Kong. Look, going in with that right hand once again. Oh! Neat! But he was down and ho hopefully he just blocked. You've got to give it to Fapi Chit. I mean, I've seen a lot of fighters, you know, they go down, they take the knee, yeah. but then they, you know, Try to fake an injury, perhaps. Attempted right high kick there from Sam Kong Lek. Yeah, we say this week in and week out, but I'm not sure if Papic is actually fighting the style that he's used to. Tall, lanky fighter. Perhaps he may be a Moy Cow, but with those Kachuks wrapped around, he changed his style to become a brawler. Yeah, you made that point a few weeks back. Since then, I've no oh, good right hand there from Sam Kong Lek. Papishit took that well, to be honest. Looked like a decent right hand that came through the guard. There again with that right hand, not connecting flush that time. Papishit oh, trying to fight fire. Sure Papishit is on the back foot right now. He's doing such a good job when he's moving forward. Another fast start, another amazing fight. Me line. <laughs> Highlights from the first round. I mean, we thought it was going to be Fafishit's fight. I mean, he came out ready to knock his opponent out, but um, Gong Leg, he decided to change the tempo a little bit yeah, and managed to hurt his opponent quite a few times. Yeah, like you said, from that opening bell, Fafishit, that right high kick and right hand. But then Sam Gong Leg wasn't having any of it. He just decided to try and bulldoze his opponent. Fafishit was cut. He fought pretty well off the back foot. He took a lot of shots. And continue to fight back like you can see here in these replays. It has to be said, I mean, that's what you need to do as a more experienced fighter. I mean, you've got to take it to your younger opponent, teach them a lesson, try to bully them. <laughs> Sam Gong Lek. I thought you said it was always the younger fighter who wins here on Thai Fight League. Is that just for the females? Females, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, round number two. Right kick to the body from Fakushi, grabbed and then dumped there by the bigger Sam Gong Lek. Yeah, beautiful sweep there from the Brewer around oh! the native. The Conrad Sima native, excuse me. Elbow in the clinch. And again, looking for the elbows is Sam Konglek. Right hand. Connect. I tell you what, Farpy shit. Don't underestimate that chin of his. 
He's taken some wicked shots. He has taken some wicked shots, but there's one thing I can look over, and that's his defense. It's not been good. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it, the center oh, of the ring to go. We say this week in and week out, it only takes one shot for the catcher. Great elbow there from Farpichin. I mean, usually nine times out of ten, I mean, it's a shorter fighter that needs to walk forward. Yep. And we're seeing that exactly from Sam Gonglik. But Farpichin, on the other hand, he really needs to start taking the fight to his opponent. Yeah, agreed. He's waiting too much right now. And that's letting Sam Gonkon in like that. And again, he's waiting. Sam Gonkon is not. Like, you can't be second. You know, you've got to be first, especially in a three-round fight, especially in a three-round Kachuk fight. Nice body strike there from Sam Conklick. Oh, looking for that left hook. Just missing that time. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. You spotted it. Barbie shit is waiting far too long right now. And perhaps going back to the style that most suits him. The boy cow style, hey, but blocked right. by the knee guard. Oh! Huge left hand there coming in from Sam Kong Lake, and that took Papichit off his feet. Lead left jab. Papichit goes down after all that destruction. I mean, you never Barbie know. With the right hand. You never know with a card chuck. So true. The energy looks like it's gone here from Papichit. He's running on empty right now. And he took that uppercut like a champ. Hang on. He's trying to fight back. He's on wobbly legs, but he is trying to fight back. It only takes one more Ooh. big shot from Sam Kong Lek. Oh, good uppercut there from Sam Kong Lek. Sam Kong Lek may be slowing down now, but good sweep there from Sam Kong Lek. That might have been Farpy Shit's last stand. Fabijit knows exactly what he needs to do at this point of the fight, but he just can't do it. He just doesn't seem oh! to be able to go forward. And what a spinning back elbow, but no account. Just to be off balance, not a knockdown. Another big uppercut there from Sam Kong Lek. Sam Kong Lek now just going to work at Fabijit, making it look easy. Got to say that Fabijit is not making it too difficult for Sam Kong Lek at the moment. No, he's not. Like I said, I feel like he's just going through the motions right now. End of round two here at Thai Fight League. Don't go anywhere. Conclusion of this fight coming up next. Jack Muay Thai in the black corner and Papichin look would be in the white and fair to say Aaron that was all Sam Gong Lek he even scored a knockdown with that jab <laughs> in that second round I mean he was surprised with that I mean we yeah. saw Papichin take some really hard shots yeah violent from, right hands and he right. was able to stand his ground but it was the jab that did it it was the jab that did it yeah that spinning back elbow but to be fair Papichin did have his hands up high and Blocked it. He covered up well. It yep. was a judge to be a not. Uh, sorry, not a knockdown. Sam Kong Lek is just so <laughs> much stronger than Farpy shit. And I've got to be said it as well. The, the experience shows. Yeah, at, at, six, at 65 kg, Sam Kong Lek looks massive. Yeah, it really does. He's very thick. I mean, with the body oh. like that, I was about to say, I'm surprised you haven't seen a low kick, but we just saw it right there. Was that the first low kick that we've seen? I it believe so. Buckled the leg of Farpy shit. You might want to try that again. Yeah, he's got tree trunks for legs, and you can already see that Farpy shit had some, had a huge problem dealing with it. And as 
that left hook attempted again, but Fabisic just moved forward out of the way. But yeah, go back to the legs, why not? There's that right hand. Can't wait to see that left jab again. That's what I'm excited for. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think he was, he, he probably didn't even think oh. he was gonna knock his opponent down. He was just surprised as much as we are. Flashy axe kick there coming in from Sam Koglek. Sanchai would be proud of that. He would. Going into the clinch, but no end product. Yeah, it seems like Farpishin is, even though he's behind, he's running, trying to run down the clock, and get out of there now, unscathed. Got to be wondering what's going through the mind of Sam Koglek right now. What, he's probably thinking, what does he have to do to knock this guy out? Yeah. Oh, here comes Farpishin. One, two combination, but Sam Koglek just the right thing. Grabs a hold of him. He doesn't like the fact that he was holding on too long, though. Yeah, good low kick again there. Inside kick attacking the lead, left leg. Decent right hand from Farpishit, but not enough power to, to trouble Sam Konglek, unfortunately, right now. Yeah, with the way that Sam Konglek is fighting right now, he is sure that he's already won this fight. Yeah, for sure. He's just on full defense mode, hoping not to make a mistake. Absolutely, just running down the clock. Taking as little damage as possible. But as I said, we don't like that here in Thai Fight League. We want to see you fight the entire three rounds. That's right. We really do appreciate that, do the management. So do we. There's that left hand. And again with those left jabs. The famous left jab of Sam Kogleg. After that left hook, I'm still wondering how is he still on his feet? Well done to Fapichit for lasting the entire three rounds, but you got to say it. This match. From that third and final round. Oh, beautiful left hook. Oh, again, question how far be shit did it go down from that, but did from the jab. Doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> right. Muay Thai doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an amazing sport, and you always have to expect the unexpected. But nonetheless, another entertaining fight here on Thai Fight League. As ever, there's the axe kick from Sam Hong Kong, just grazing the nose of Farpi Shin. Perhaps the exclamation point on the victory. And the winner is... Black Corner, Sam Kong Lek from the Corn Raja Sima. Congratulations. So that man in the Black Corner. Club Kosu Thai Fight League, Na Beat Active by Tech Buri, the Cup, 10 Plur Minute Kotor, the Cup, some Rap Ku Topini, Ben Mue Rob, Ne Run Pika Damnak. 67 kilogram ครับคู่ที่1ของสาย A เป็นการแข่งขันไฟที่3นะครับซึ่งเป็นไฟสุดท้ายของรอบแรกโดยนักมวย White Corner he from อำเภอประสาทจังหวัดสุรินทร์ครับผ่านมา2ไฟเขามี3คะแนนและเพื่อเปิดโอกาสในการเข้ารอบ4คนสุดท้ายวันนี้ต้องชนะน็อกเท่านั้นนะครับ please welcome นักรบเมืองประสาทวีรศักดิ์สิทธิ์ชาญสิงและสำหรับนักมวย from black corner he from อำเภอเมืองจังหวัดราชบุรีครับผ่านมาสองไฟเขามี6คะแนนแต่ถ้าวันนี้เขาแพ้น็อกแล้วอีกคู่ในสาย A มีการชนะชนะน็อกเกิดขึ้นเขาจะต้องมาลุ้นในการเข้ารอบก็เป็นได้ดังนั้นครับต้องชนะเพื่อการันตีการเข้ารอบ4คนสุดท้ายเท่านั้น please welcome จอมห้าวจากเมืององค์เพชรเอกบ้านไร่มนทาเ
Fan favourite has entered the ring. Question is, is it the favourite for the tournament? Well, we're going to get one step closer to finding out. Well, you already know who my favourite in this tournament is. <laughs> You're supposed to be impartial. <laughs> Hey, I, I gotta call it how it is. All it's right. My professional opinion, Aaron. It's Thai Fight League action. 67 kilograms in Group A. Introducing first, Wirasak Sit Chan Singh. 25 years of age from Surin Province here in Thailand. He stands at 176 centimeters and has a professional record of 73 fights with 53 victories. 18 losses and 2 draws. So it's 53 victories. Ignore that graphic because he won last time here at Thai Fight. And in his last two fights though, he's had a TKO loss in the first round to Panchai Ronglia Gatiam Utaya. And he won by TKO in the first round, in fact, against Sansuk Pet Nongki. And here's his opponent. Goes by the name of Pet Ik Manrai Monta. His real name is Pilatep Tian Tong. He's 18 years of age, 175 centimeters tall, from Ratchaburi province. He's had a total of 47 fights, 45 victories, and just two losses. In his last two fights here in the Thai Fight League 67 kilo tournament, he won by KO in the first round against Sansuk Pet Nongki. And he won by KO in the second round against Panchai Ronglian Gatiam Witaya. So, between them, four fights, four knockouts. Two knockouts for Pet Ek. One victory. Or one, vict one knockout victory for Wirasak. One knockout loss. Neither of these fighters have been to the third round so far here at Thai Fight League. So as it stands so far, it's Pet Ek, Van Rai Monta with six points on top of the group. While oh, Wirasak, he's in mid -table. Oh, left high kick there from Pet Ek. Big shots already coming in from Pet Ek. Good solid right knees here from Pet Ek. So much power in the young man's strikes. It's amazing. Remember, this is the final fight in the group stage here. This will determine whether you go through or not. Oh, nice left uppercut there. Combinations coming in here from Pet Ek, looking to finish it off with an elbow. But Wirasak just moves out of the way. I mean, Pet Ek, he still needs a victory to just guarantee that he'll go to the knockout stages. He's still anyone's game here. Good covering up that time by Wirasak. Winning elbow. elbow there. Oh, nice left kick to the body. That's hurt, Wirasak. I think that's going to be it, man. Oh! He only needs a few more attacks to the body, and that will probably be it. Oh! Oh, oh the right hand there from Wirasak! Oh, my goodness! It's a shock on the cards right now. Another right hand coming in from Wirasak. That's the first time we've seen Pet Egg stunned in this tournament. Out of nowhere. And Pet Egg has now felt the power of Wirasak. He looks to have eased up now, Aaron. Yeah, it looks like he's okay as of now. Wirasak is just walking through. Oh, oh my goodness. How is that on a count? How is that on a knockdown, Aaron? I guess the referee thought he was just off balance. Here comes Wirasak once again. Oh! oh! Oh, left hook there. Sorry, right hook. Attempted elbow. I'm telling you, Pet Ek looks like he's in trouble right now, Kevin. He really does seem like he's in trouble. It's all Wirasak so far. It only takes one more big shot from Wirasak to potentially take Pet Ek off his feet. One, two coming in from Wirasak. Right hand from Pet Ek. Right hand from Wirasak. Oh, this is goodness. the first time we've seen Pet Ek in trouble. One thing we don't know, Aaron, is that Pet Egg is not invincible. He can't be hurt. Urasak is like a demon or something. He's just walking through every shot that Pet Egg is throwing. He's hunting him down. It's not like stop. When you have those dreams, you're trying to attack somebody and then they just don't get hurt. This is exactly what it's like now for Pet Egg. Big shots there, big kick there from Pet Egg. Pet Egg holding on to the neck and throwing some solid knees to the body. Oh, but he eats an elbow for his trouble. What an opening round this has been. Fight of the night so far, we're only in the first round, Aaron. It's unbelievable. Left hook there from Pet Ek. 
attempts the right hand. He's looking a little bit sloppy at the moment. Oh my goodness, Wirasak again. Pushing him back against the ropes. What is Wirasak made of? Right high kick there. Wirasak just continues to move forward. Head down, not throwing anything. Wow, what an opening round we've just witnessed here at Thai Fight League. Stay with us, round two. Unbelievable action here at Thai Fight League. You're just joining us, the favourite pet egg there in the black corner. He started so quick against Wirasak, was connecting with shots, looking like he was going to put Wirasak away early. But then all of a sudden, Wirasak out of nowhere, eating all these shots just through that right hand and started to knock back pet egg, just hunting him down, walking him down. Left jab, off balancing pet egg who went down. It wasn't counted though. You questioned that though, didn't you, Kevin? What do you think looking back on the replay? Never underestimate the jabs. I mean, I thought Pedek was down for sure. I mean, there was no doubt about it, but he sprung right back up to his feet, so maybe the referee showed a little bit of leniency there. But hard round to score. That, yeah, that's the question right now is who won that round? It's it was seemed like it was all pet egg to begin it with, was. but then in the middle of the fight, or the majority of the fight, for me, I gotta give it to Rarasak, then towards the end. Out on his feet. What? In, in Thai, they say, wow, he, look, he looked drunk, he really did. What Rarasak has to look out for is the body shots. I mean, it was the body shots that hurt him, yeah. not the shots upstairs. Oh, texting right, and there, oh, smashing elbows! Two elbows! Three oh. elbows! He's well, gonna go for fourth! How on earth is Wirasak still coming forward? Oh my goodness! I'm telling you, this man is possessed right now! He's Thai Fight League's version of Sexan! I'll tell you what, I mean, he's been knocked out before here on Thai Fight League, so we know he's not indestructible. But something has awoken him for some reason. He's walking in forward like a zombie. He has a gift though, seriously. That chin of his is unreal. I mean, we heard of the Korean zombie, but he is the Sarin zombie right here. I like that, that's the nickname that's gonna stick, the Sarin zombie, so true. Wirasak here, pushing forward. Petek doesn't know what to do next right now. I mean, he's knocked opponents out in the first and second round, but doesn't look like he's gonna do it here in the second now. Wirasak hasn't been past the first round. This is new territory for him on Thai Fight League, the second round. I mean, Petek has never been past the second round. That's right. That's right. What a fight we have here. I can't believe that Wirasak's still oh. walking forward. Hammer elbows coming in from Pet Ek. Oh! Wirasak started to wilter, perhaps. I'm not sure what the problem is here. He's cut. I don't think it should be too bad, but I'm no doctor. I think what he's asking the doctor is to check in his Because <laughs> seriously. No. Oh my goodness. I mean, what a fight it was to be stopped by that, I'm not sure what it is. But the referee deemed it too, just too dangerous for him to continue. I'd have to see if it's an internal damage of the mouth or... Doesn't look like there's anything. The, to stop the fight. Oh, what on earth is keeping him up? You know what it could be? Could be a broken jaw. Wow. Right? Would you be surprised after no, seeing those I would shots? Not be There's no way. At all. One thing's for sure though. Pet Egg Ban Rai Monta is through to the semi-finals of the 67 kilo Thai Fight League tournament. As we said, he is the favorite and he showed that here tonight. He was in trouble a few times. He was. But still managed to get the victory. Absolutely amazing.
Never doubt. Pet Egg Van Raibonta, the young man from Ratchaburi province. And this is the result of the decision. The winner by technical knockout. Black Corner, Pet Van Raibonta. ท่านผู้ชมครับกลับมาเร้าใจกันต่อนะครับกับตำนานมวยรอบที่ยิ่งใหญ่ที่สุดในประเทศไทยครับมวยรอบอิสุสุครับครั้งที่32ศึกอิสุสุดีแม็กซ์ลุยทาโลกครับสำหรับคู่ต่อไปนี้ครับเป็นการแข่งขันไฟที่2ของมวยรอบอิสุสุครับครั้งที่32เป็นคู่ที่1ของสาย A โดยคู่นี้ต่างยังไม่มีคะแนนติดตัวมาด้วยกันทั้งคู่นะครับสำหรับนักมวยไวท์โคเนอร์ชายชาตินักรบ He's from อำเภอเมืองจังหวัดหนองคาย Please welcome ขุนพลพญานาคแรมโบสอเทรพน And for the black boy from Black Corner, Chai Chad Naksu, he is from Ampe Kornburi, Jangwad Nakorn Rajasima. And please welcome Kha Lui Heng Kornburi, The Rock, Go Sai Gan Wen! All right, after that exceptional fight, it's now time to move on to the second round of the Isuzu Cup here at Thai Fight. 65 kilograms this tournament is taking place at. And currently, so we're in Group A. Rambo is making his debut here tonight. And The Rock, unfortunately, lost in his last bout. So introducing Rambo, so Tira Pat, 23 years of age from Nong Kai province here in Thailand. He stands at 167 centimeters and has a professional record of 67 fights, 48 victories, 18 losses and one draw and is replace, replacing Big Boom. He is not 18. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I think 23 is more correct. And here's his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of The Rock. Gosai Ganwen. Ganwen, excuse me. Real name is Putichai Gongpit. I thought it was Dwayne Johnson. I thought so too. <laughs> 26 years of age, 173 centimeters tall from Nakhon Rachasima province. He's had a total of 72 fights, 65 victories, and 16 losses. In his last fight, The Rock won by KO in the third round against Siopan Kiet Malaitong. Or excuse me, he lost yeah. by KO in the third round. Yeah, that's right. Both these fighters currently on zero points. Yeah, I remember he started off the round really well, but then towards the end, did go there. And you can see in Rambo's corner, it's Sayok Pumpamwog. Of course, the Thai fight superstar. The Muay Thai superstar, the legend of Muay Thai. Am I dreaming right now? There's Rambo, The Rock, and Sayok oh, all together. Oh, good one, Ruth. On paper, <laughs> it's, it's a dream fight. It's like a Thai fight, The Expendables. Exactly. What a combination. All right, let's see what Rambo's all about. Well, we had five movies to find out. Big left hand there from The Rock. And a return from Rambo. Rambo with another right elbow. 
Gotta love it, I mean, Rambo is taking the fight to The Rock early on. Not many significant strikes coming in from The Rock so far. It should also be noted as well, in the Isuzu Cup tournament, it's gloves. That's right. I mean, keeping the tra tradition, the only thing that's changed is that it's not a CM Omni, and it's three rounds now. Yeah, it used to be a five round affair. Did Isuzu. Oh, good right hand there coming in from Rambo. Speaking of the Isuzu Cup tournament, we've had many winners of the Isuzu Cup fighting in Thai Fight right now, such as PTT, who had Santa Tan in the past. We had Sitsagon who competed in the Isuzu Cup tournament. Yeah, Chana Chon. Chana Chon, that's right. He was a winner. Chai, of course, as well. Pet Tong Chai, TBM Jim. The list goes on, really. 32 Isuzu Cup tournaments already. Good left kick there by The Rock. They're looking for a left knee, and Rambo doesn't seem to want to block that. Oh, left high kick there! Yeah, Rambo really needs, or The Rock, excuse me, really needs to get some points on the board. I mean, after his previous fight, he knows he's got to do better. Now the, the straight down the middle from The Rock. The Rambo is still pushing forward. Not phased at all by the attacks coming in for The Rock. Yeah, but he should be. Especially I mean, not to the body. He has some, uh, he has some padding there, let's say. Extra padding, I'll tell you that. <laughs> left hand, left knee there by The Rock. Trying to lay up the smack down on Rambo. You can smell what he can, is cooking right now. I wish The Rock would fight every week that we could with his punts. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, The Rock fighting on the back foot, though, but I think he's doing a much better job. Ooh, swing and a miss there by Rambo. Attempts it right elbow there within the clinch. I do want to see The Rocks move forward much more, though. Nice attempt of a hook from Rambo, and that's the end of the first round. Stay with us. Round two coming up. See the highlights of the opening round here. You know, our first Isuzu Cup matchup of the evening here at Thai Fight League. Yeah, it's a hard round to score, but I have to give the edge slightly to The Rock. Not the most exciting of matches, but he was the more accurate fighter, but he is. After that fight that we just witnessed this last, you put any fight. Oh yes. After that one, it's going to be a little bit disappointing, right? A lot to live up to. Good left kick there by The Rock. Left hand. Rambo coming in with more shots, but he is the most slower fighter, has to be said. Trying to take The Rock down, but not the correct way. You can't hook your opponents at the oh, back of the legs. That was a good left hand there by The Rock. And again, he's headhunting with that left hand. He's to the body there by The Rock as Rambo pushes him against the ropes. I mean, for Rambo, you've got to be wondering what's going through his head, especially when he has Sayok in his corner. <laughs> left kick to the body there. You'd be expecting a lot more from Rambo. Good body shot, though, from Rambo. And another elbow. Just like that elbow from the clinch. And again, he finds that elbow. That time with the right. Swinging right hand there and a left elbow! Oh my goodness! That could be it for The Rock. Yeah, Rambo in co complete control now. He's found a pathway to victory with those elbows. The Rambo. Beautiful on the sweep. Front front, the Rock doesn't know how to defend them. Yeah, The Rock looks like he's really cautious right oh, now. Oh, another left elbow! Sneaking it through the guard. Nice left knees there. Big knees straight down the middle, unanswered by The Rock. I mean, we 
personally gave The Rock the first round, but I gotta say, this is all Rambo at the moment. Another big oh. knee there from Rambo. The elbows and the knees. Fruitful for Rambo right now. Left elbow there by Rambo and a good team, solid team. Attempted left hand there by The Rock, but again he gets pushed back. He gets the ropes and that was a knee on the way down. And down goes The Rock. And it looks like he's not going to get back. Oh, oh. He does. I thought that was it. Likewise, but I don't think he's going to last much longer. There's Sneaky no right hand way. there. Back to that body from Rambo. Rambo, the man from Nong Kai province, taking full control of this fight. He might not have a good first round, but in the second round, it's been all him. And it's only a matter of time until he finishes this fight. Yeah, The Rock's looking very deflated right now. He's covering up. He eats another elbow, he eats another knee. Dwayne Johnson won't be happy to hear those words. <laughs> so Mr. Stallone, on the other hand, he's very happy at the moment. Indeed he is. Rambo searching for the knockout, but The Rock is fighting back right now. Good left hands there coming in from The Rock. Connects to the chin of Rambo. Didn't think I'd say that sentence in my lifetime. <laughs> Gotta admit though, Rambo looks exhausted at the moment. He looks like he's got quite a lot in this round. Good sweep there from Rambo. The Rock having to get back up on his feet. That's going to be demoralizing. Oh, sneaky left hook to the body once again. He has thrown a lot of body strikes. He's looking for that knee again. Saved by the bell. Rambo on top here. Let's have a look at the highlights from that second round. Of course, the knockdown was the big highlight. There, that left elbow stunned The Rock. Yeah, he looks technical throughout the fight, but it's those knees that ah, did there you go. the yeah. big number on The Rock. It looked like he was going down before that. There, that right knee, he was down. And then, I don't think that left knee actually connected, but it was the right knee. On the second one, yeah. yeah. Body strikes. More dangerous fighter. Probably fighting at 61. Yeah. 65, to be honest. Oh, attempted left hand there by The Rock. Another big elbow there and a big right kick there from Rambo. Rambo trying to go for the sweep again. He almost got it. Should be The Rock trying to throw the elbow. <laughs> the people's elbow, in fact. <laughs> But not in this case. I think he might have hit rock bottom. Not yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Good right kick there by Rambo. Oh, good left hand there! Much better there from The Rock. Rambo, I'm surprised he hasn't got a telly off of the referee yet. I mean, he's, he's, he's trying to go for a, an illegal takedown. He can't hook the back of the leg. I want to see that left hand again from The Rock. He's trying, but yeah, Rambo is just holding on and frustrating the rock right now. Bring down that clock. Oh, spinning back fist connects, flush! Wow! He has come back to life once again, the rock. Never count the rock out, Aaron. Oh, spinning back elbow. He's already, and he's a left elbow. This is a great round so far for the rock. Yeah, great round overall. I mean, he's finally bringing the fight to Rambo. We haven't seen Rambo in any real trouble. Maybe a little bit in the first round, but now it seems like he is absolutely exhausted. Well, so far it has to be said that the Brock is probably winning the rounds. So obviously, the second round went to Rambo. Easily. It could be about who, who won that first round. Exactly. Oh, another left elbow there coming in. And connected by the Rock. Now, of course, the tie fight rules. A knockdown only scores for one point. 
doesn't score for two. So the Rock, he may still very much be in this fight. Yeah, there's a. Uh, there is some blood. I'm not sure if it's. Yeah, it looks like it's on the forehead of Rambo. Perhaps from that spinning back elbow strike. Oh, and he goes for it again. Spinning back fist connects. And this is why The Rock is still in the tournament because he fights all the way to the end. Good elbow there from The Rock. You can see that Rambo, he's in a lot of trouble right now. Just has a huge difficulty protecting himself against The Rock at this moment. Right, kicks the body, but then he walks into another left hand. That is the end of the fight. I wonder how the judges are going to score this one. One no, thing for sure, round two. Yeah, absolutely. How do you score round one and three? Personally, round three had to give it to The Rock. I would agree with you as well, but you never know because the way that Thai judges sometimes look at the fight is who's in control. And I, I don't know. Can't really I, say. I would give it to The Rock. You can't, know, can't really say Rambo was in control in no, that third round. No, he was acting like he was though, but yeah, I agree with you. I don't think he was. A multiple elbows. But you can see by the demeanor on the faces of the fighters, they use. And the winner is. White Corner, Rambo from Nong Kai. ท่านผู้มีเกียรติครับสำหรับคู่ต่อไปนี้นะครับเป็นมวยรอบในรุ่นพิกัดน้ำหนัก67กิโลกรัมครับคู่ที่2สาย A เป็นการแข่งขันไฟที่3ซึ่งเป็นไฟสุดท้ายของรอบแรกนะครับโดยนักมวยไวท์คอร์เนอร์ผ่านมา2ไฟเขามี3คะแนนและวันนี้เขาต้องชนะเท่านั้นเพื่อเปิดโอกาสเข้ารอบ4คนสุดท้ายครับและนักมวย from white corner he's from อำเภอสังขะจังหวัดสุรินทร์ please welcome คุณศึกแดนสังขะพันชัยโรงเรียมกระเทียมวิทยาและนมวย from black corner he from อำเภอหนองกี่จังหวัดบุรีรัมย์ผ่านมาสองไฟเขายังไม่มีคะแนนครับแต่ประตูแห่งโชคชะตายยังเปิดรอให้กับผู้ที่มีใจของนักสู้ถ้าวันนี้เขาเอาชนะน็อกได้นะครับเขาก็ยังลุ้นเข้ารอบได้เช่นกัน please welcome นักรบแดนทับหลังแสนศึกเพชรหนองกี่Right, here we go. Sixth bout of the evening here at Thai Fight League, and our second and final fight in the Group A Thai Fight League tournament. Panchai, who's currently second or joint second in the group, sends up zero points, desperate for a victory. But introducing first Pan Chai, Rong Rien, Gratian Witia School, 24 years of age, fighting out of Surin Province here in Thailand. He stands at 170 centimeters and has a professional record of 62 fights with 46 victories, 11 losses, and five draws. In his last two fights, Pan Chai had a KO victory against Wirasak Sit Chan Singh in the first round, and he had a KO loss in the second round against Pet Ek Manrai Monta. 
now introducing his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Sansuk Pet Nong Gi. He's 21 years of age, 168 centimeters tall from Buriram province. He's had a total of 64 fights, 46 victories, 17 losses, and one draw. In his last two fights, he had a TKO loss to Pet Ik Pan Rai Monta in the first round, and he had a TKO loss or KO loss in the first round against Virasak Sit Chan Singh. So Sansuk, he needs a victory by knockout. That's right. So if you win by knockout, you're on three points. Or you gain three points. And he'll be level <laughs> with two other fighters. That's right. And, and in then that what situation, happens? there will be a lucky draw to see who goes through as the runner-up. However, his opponent, Pachai, he only needs a win to go through. He does. Whether it's by points or by knockout. So it's all to fight for here. Good team there. And a flying knee! Referee gives a count. Oh, he's dazed, he's confused. Unbelievable by Panchai. Yeah, Sansuk doesn't know where he is at the moment. And Panchai still moving forward. Surely the confidence has grown. Second flying knee knockdown we've seen here in Thai Fight League. Absolutely unbelievable. Definitely want to see more of that. Oh, tempted right out. Uh, sorry, right hand, but it hits the shoulder. Now it's fair to say though that Sansuk has a huge mountain to climb. Another right hand there, then a right knee. Zero points and a knockdown. I mean, what does he need to do in this situation, Aaron? Pray. <laughs> No, anything a, a could bit, happen. A bit too late for that, though. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Push kick there. Oh, looking for that right hand again. But connects with the left. Yeah, solid shots there from Panchai. Panchai doing a good job in there. He's in control of the entire fight at the moment. Huge elbow there oh. from Panchai. Rumli against him with ya. And that's the second knockdown. Remember, three knockdowns in a round, and that's it here at Thai Fight League. One more doctor. Oh, good right hand. Oh, and it's all over. That's right. Three knockdowns in a round. It's a TKO victory for Panchai. Don't look at him. Wittia. And he goes on to the next round of the 67 kilo Thai Fight League tournament. That's right. So Pet Ek, first in the tournament. He, sorry, the winner of the group in Group A. He will go and face the runner up in Group A. the runner up in Group A, he will fight the winner of Group B. Take a look at that was the flying oh. knee knockdown. Beautiful flying knee straight to the jaw. Doesn't get much better than that, but there's more. I mean, you think that Sansa would be out, but then that's the second knockdown. The big elbow from Panchai. Watch his eyes. Yeah, he had no idea where he was, and the referee had to call it off. And rightly so. Taking way too much punishment. Quick work. Congratulations on going. And the winner by technical knockout. White corner, Panchai from Surin. เอาละครับกลับมาเร้าใจกันต่อนะครับกับมวยรอบอิสุสุครับครั้งที่32ศึกอิสุสุดีแม็กซ์ลุยทาโลกครับสำหรับคู่นี้เป็นการแข่งขันไฟที่2ของมวยรอบอิสุสุครับครั้งที่32เป็นคู่ที่2สาย A โดยคู่นี้ครับต่างสะสมแต้มมาได้3คะแนนเช่นกันใครจะคว่ำใครเดี๋ยวมาลุ้นกันพร้อมๆกันครับและนักมวย from white corner he's from อำเภอรัตนบุรีจังหวัดสุรินทร์มวยพันดุดุดเสือร้าย Please welcome สมิงรัตนบุรีเสือพันเกียรติมาไล่ชองเ
ลและสำหรับนักมวย from black corner he's from อำเภอเด่นชัยจังหวัดแพร่มวยสอกคมดุดมิดโกน please welcome จอมสับจากเด่นชัยนินเพชรปอภัยแดงเป็นงานสุดยอดของการแข่งขันและว่าอะไรที่จะจบไทยฟิตลีกเรามีทั้งสองกลุ่มลีดเดอร์ที่กำลังอยู่ในกลุ่มกันในกลุ่มเอกำลังแข่งขันกันอยู่ตอนนี้สองกลุ่มที่ในครั้งก่อนที่เขาจะแข่งขันกันในกลุ่มไทยฟิตลีกในกลุ่มไทยฟิตลีกวันนี้ด้วยการแข่ง So this is still in the same group as Rambo, who's now third in the group. Introducing first, Sir Pan, Kit Malai Tong, 25 years of age from Surin Province here in Thailand. I feel like we've had a lot of fighters from Surin Province here tonight. Yeah, Surin Buram and uh, Nokon Rajasima. Yeah. 178 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 65 fights, 49 victories, 15 losses, and one draw. And in his previous match, Sir Pan. One by knockout in the third round against The Rock. Go Sai Gan Wen. Or Go Sai Gan Wen, excuse me. And now introducing his fighter, his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Nin Pet. Bo Pai Dag. His real name is Woody Chai. Wan La Pai, 28 years of age. 177 centimeters tall from Praia province in the northern, northern part of Thailand. He's had a total of 76 fights, 59 victories, 14 losses, and three draws. In his last fight, he won by KO in the second round against Big Boom, Sid Chan Singh, who is not in the tournament anymore. All right, here we go. The final, the seventh and final bout of the evening here at Thai Fight League. Two stoppages, I believe, only. Unbelievable, but yet yeah. some of the best action we've seen. And a great crowd here at Beat Active. Would be surprised if we see a stoppage here in this fight. Both of them coming off KO victories in their previous bouts. Left high kick there coming in, and a left hand from Nil Pet. Yeah, so far so good for Nil Pet. Good sweep though by Sir Pan. Oh, nice left hook there to the body from Nin Pet. I've got to say, in terms of menacing looks, I think Nin Pet would win hands down. <laughs> <laughs> but that alone can't win you the fight, Aaron. Very true. Low kick again from Sir Pat. Oh, Sir Pat, he goes to the body with that left hook, but he gets clipped with that left hook. Good take down there by Sir Pan, just showing his authority against Nin Pet. Nin Pet straight back to his feet though. Both fighters exchanging kicks. Yeah, Nin Pet walks into that kick to the body. Nice low kick there by Sir Pet. Sir Pan, sorry. Gotta say though, not the pace we're used to seeing here in Thai Fight League, Aaron. No! Of course, it's a three round bout. You expect a fast paced action fight from the first belt. You can see why these two are group leaders at the moment because they have beautiful technique but also have very good defense as well. Yeah, much more clever with their output. Yeah, you tend to see that though, the more experienced fighters. They don't tend to walk forward and attack from when the bell goes. Except our tie fight team, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course. Good clinch work here for both fighters. Nin Pet able to take down. Sorry. Zilpan. Pan is able to take down Nin Pet. And not for the first time. Seems to be struggling with those, those takedowns, Nin Pet. Ooh, swinging a miss there. Right kick to the body from 
Nin Pet. Straight down the middle by Serpan. Nin Pet, though, trying to get into a dominant clinch position, but the referee separates them before he can do so. Good kick there by Nin Pet, and now takes. Gets taken down once again, Nin Pet. I mean, that must be the third or fourth time, Aaron. Attempted left and right hands there, but pretty much blocked, to be honest. End of round number one. Zizi Cup action on so far for our final bout tonight here at Thai Fight League. Yeah. I guess the only difference we can say is the takedowns. Yeah, Serpan with those takedowns of Nin Pet might be the difference maker in the eyes of the judges. We see some good combinations coming in from Nin Pet. I mean, some hard, solid hands, but then the takedown, you know, just neutralizes any attack that Nin Pet has. So maybe perhaps a slight edge to Serpan. I would go with. I would go with. Round two. Nin Pet walking forward once again. Much more of an urgency though from Nin Pet. Swinging right hand and then a knee to the body there. Beautiful knee down the middle though by Nin Pet. Really bent Serpan over. Oh, nice left hand. That caught, that got through the guard. And a left and a right that time. This is much better from Nin Pet. Oh. And again with those hands. Left kick to the body. From Serpan, I'm sure he connects it full. And Nin Pet really taking the oh. fight to Serpan. Serpan perhaps struggling to deal with the pace yes. that Nin Pet has really, to offer. I think that's the right. Well, which, well, once again, beautiful jab there from Nin Pet. And Nin Pet gets the knee to the side. I like that jab from Nin Pet. He's getting through the guard and then he's able to set up other shots with it. Lao! That is not a foul though. I mean, if you kick, to kick the cup. Not considered a foul. If you need the cup, that's a foul. An entirely different story. Right kicks to the body. Outside kicks here. Yeah, big low kicks. So Pan was not able to block them at all. Oh, nice left hand to the body there by Nin Pet. Much better in this second round so far for him. Nice hey. sweep once again by Sir Pan. That must be the fifth or sixth time. <laughs> Oh, good right hand! Beautifully timed there from Nin Pet. That seemed to have stunned Sir Pan just for a moment. Well done to Sir Pan for ke keeping his composure. Even when it looks like uh, Sir Pan is starting to block the shots, Nin Pet just comes back and somehow manages to find a way through. Yeah, you gotta love the work rate from Nin Pet in this round. Whatever the case may be, I think he's winning this round, Aaron. I agree. There's that left hand again I was talking about that sets up those shots to the body. Grabbing onto the ropes. Yeah, <laughs> smart tactic. Stay on his feet, well done then. I think he's really starting to wear down Sir Pan right now. Nin Pet is still great in the second round. Those knees to the body will help as well. It's a sign of a tired fighter, but he's not able to block any shots coming in from Nin Pet right now, whether it's the low kicks, whether it's the knee down the middle, the punches or the elbows. He just has no idea. Having problems in the clinch as well. End of round two. Much better round there from Nin Pet.
All right, let's have a look at the highlights from that second round. Much better work from Ninpet in the black corner. Utilizing that jab and then throwing low kicks, throwing mid-range kicks and right hands as well to Serpan, who's unable to control his opponent how, like he did in the opening round, of course. He yeah, did a good job in the first round, but i got to say, he probably got tired in that second. Ate way too many shots and wasn't able to protect himself as he did in the first round. That still scores. <laughs> yeah, see left kicks to the body. Did take him down what once. Once. He tried three or four times in that second round. Good team there by Ninpet to start things off. And a knee straight down the middle. Silpan looking like he's having a problem to deal with the clinch and knees of Ninpet. Good team there. Outside kick. Good hands coming in here by Ninpet. Seems like Serpan is happy just to walk around the ring and fight on the outside. Yeah, but sadly he's not winning him the fight. Yeah. Good team there by Ninpet. Yeah, Serpan he looks tired and he looks frustrated now. Yeah, back on the ropes once again, somewhere oh, where he doesn't want to be. Oh, that jab again. Knocking the head back. Oh, good left kicked straight to the body of Serpan, who, like you said, Kevin, is not defending his position right now. He really is it. I mean, you've got to wonder what happened to the Serpan that we saw in the first match. The man who was looking for a knockout at this moment looks like a deflated fighter. There's that left hand again. Yeah, Serpan's not fighting back right now, even when there's opportunities to do to counter strike, he's not taking them. More left kicks to the body, and the hands are down now, and he's gone down. Flurry of kicks to the body, and it's all over. That's all she wrote. Another KO victory for that man right there, Nin Pet. And now he's got six points in his group. That's right, Kevin. Three that points for a knockout victory. <laughs> On Thai Fight League and in the Isuzu Cup as well. Just a flurry of kicks to a tired body. Unable to defend his position, he couldn't get his breath back. Yeah, I mean, he, was, he wasn't defending himself, he wasn't attacking back. I mean, it was only a matter of time until Din Pet took him down and he, just, he did just that. Digging those toes in to the body. Congratulations, Nin Pet. We'll see you next time here at Thai Fight League. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Another great event here, Kevin. Yeah, fantastic event. I'm looking forward to see the next one. See you then. The winner by technical knockout, Black Corner, Ninpet from Perth!